Happy Irvine. Hello. Thank you so much for joining me today. Especially you, Daza from Sunny Coast. Suggested this video. Daza did. Woman gives toys to a wild magpie and he invites his friends over to play. And it's from uh, The Dodo. Small and up and coming YouTube channel. They only have 16 and a half M subscribers. So go check them out. Link down below. I'm liking it. I haven't even watched it yet. I'm liking it based off this title. I mean, how could this not be an awesome video? You just give a magpie a toy and it's your friend for life. See, most people don't try to be friends with magpies. That's the secret. You got to try to befriend them. <laughs> okay, I need to see this. Out of the blue, this magpie came up to me. Hello. He was very trusting and he'd said... It's like she took him home. It just cuts to her in her backyard. Like, yeah, I took him home. On my knee. If he'd follow me around. Don't they normally just peck at your head? Oh my god, I would not put that beak anywhere near my eyeball. That's a lot of trust right there. Being the first time I ever really interacted with a wild bird like this, I was really quite impressed. Look at that. It's already starting to color. It's as advanced as my two-year-old. Shortly after that, he brought his son over, and he was very friendly too. Now, how do you know which one is like how do you how can you tell if it's a boy or girl is that a stupid question <laughs> and how do you know that's his son the other juveniles started showing up i mean i understand people know these things i don't people some people do very friendly too all the other juveniles started showing up <laughs> i had about 20 to 25 i didn't mind at all They socialize amongst themselves. They absolutely loved playing on the clothesline. They spent quite a lot of time hanging upside down off the clothes. I'd leave socks and towels just for them. Sometimes the other magpies are a bit cheeky and they would run up. You really, these clothespins in Australia must be next level. How is that sock staying on the clothesline? To the one hanging upside down and they'll gently tug on his feathers or legs. Oh my God, she named her backyard Magpie Manor. You could say I turned the yard into a magpie playground. A magpie manor? I thought, what would happen if I introduced some toys for them to play with? And as a very curious birds, I wasn't surprised when they took to the new toys almost instantly. They would often squabble over the same toy. I never would have freaking even thought to give a bird a toy. Birds just want to have fun. Just like little kids play, they only want what they can't have. Honestly, that had the time of their lives. I think all the adults said to their kids, hey, go over to the Magpie Whisperer's place. She's got toys and water, and you'll be treated like royalty there. It's so funny watching oh the Magpies God. follow me. You know, this is exactly like, um, you've seen Home Alone 2? Yeah, there's a woman in there exactly like this. I think that's in Home Alone 2. It actually... I wonder what the neighbors think, you know? These are like bodyguards, huh? Makes my day. These birds are really the only reason I could... Don't mess with this lady. She's got a whole pack of magpies that will peck your eyes out. You need to get out of bed every morning. I've always chosen to live on my own and I don't socialize with anyone. With anyone? Wow, just the birds. I'd be 
quite a lonely person if it weren't for them in my life. You troublemaker. And she. It's actually so touching. Being in their presence eases my anxiety and depression. They're really. I can see they've been peck pecking at your finger, haven't they? This is my anxiety and depression. <laughs> That's They're amazing. Really, my best friends and family also. So this is R two D two. R two. Tuffy. And friend. No. Oh my goodness. My friend invited me to become a licensed wildlife carer. Hold on, what do you mean your friend? I thought you didn't have any friends. I'm just kidding. I'm not trying to like uh, criticize her, but she said she only socializes with the magpies. Was it a magpie friend? My friend invited me to become a licensed wildlife carer. And it was something I was ready to take on. I specialize in caring for and rehabilitating Australian magpies. That's amazing. When you can turn your passion into your job, you don't have to work a single day, do you? It's my turn to help them in ways I wasn't able to before I became a wildlife carer. And if people may be thinking... Man, that is... What is it about Aussies? You guys just are so good with animals and love animals and stuff. I think it just means that you're a good person. I think in general that's true, right? How many people do you know that love animals, but they're just like assholes? It's so cute, I wanna keep it as a pet. I highly urge them to reconsider. Not only is it illegal, but it's not in the best interest for the bird. Mm. Also, please don't take away their dignity by clipping their wings. They got much planned for the day. If you stumble across an injured or orphaned magpie, Birds to How do you know they're orphaned? Case. The best thing you can possibly do for it. Just like a little baby that's alone. Welfare is to contact your local wildlife organization or vet as soon as possible. You know, magpies are pretty cute. The magpie's presence in my life, it's such a blessing and I'm not sure where I'd be if it weren't for them. They get a bad rap, but they're pretty cute. They don't mean any harm. They just want to play with your skull. She should either become a supervillain or hero. <laughs> that one magpie who started all this must be a legend in his community. Imagine you're walking down the street and this lady passes you by with a flock of 10 magpies. Do you think she'll peck at your head too? Once you make friends with them, they remember and recognize you. Isn't that amazing? It is kind of a, like very amazing to me. That an animal with that small of a brain that you don't really think twice about, it's like, it actually will recognize you. I don't know what to think about that. It's really crazy to me. Like, that kind of just messes with my my head. Like, a, bur a random bird out there. I could go probably find a pigeon. And if I, you know, played with it, it would recognize me. And be like, that's my buddy coming. I don't know. I'm having an existential crisis right now, guys. I might become a vegan after watching this. I'll have to go think about it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.